A nasty new Facebook hack steals your account to sell fake items and then pockets the cash. The scammers are learning exactly how to impersonate you and trick your friends. Yeah, but at least one victim got seven on your side to stop the scam in its tracks. Here's Nina Pineda. Nina. Guys, these uh, hackers are really taking the time to get to know us. I mean, everything we post, like for me, is what we eat, you know, where we go, hobbies, habits. They're all being used to sound like us. It's no wonder that people are falling for it. While we were in Westchester yesterday talking to this hack victim, his friends were sending money to a scammer. It was a race against time to stop it. My Facebook page was hacked. As a retired firefighter, Pete Gagliardo is used to putting out fires, but he's helpless to hose down this flaming hot scam currently stealing from his friends. Yes. It's happening as we speak right now. One person who sent 500, I know one that did 450. His pals are being robbed, believing they're paying Peter for his late dad's stuff. Tractors, four wheelers. Friends from Florida to Putnam Lake even thought they bought floor seats to Morgan Wallen at MetLife. The one did 450 and also booked two airline tickets. I just sent in 200, which was for one of the four tickets. It all started with a surprise updated profile pick -pick. I click on it and it opened up a Facebook account which says Peter Gagliardo, but I couldn't get in it and I had no longer had access to it whatsoever. You can't change the password? Nope. Locked out, he reported the hostile takeover on Christmas. So I tried to contact Facebook to see if I can get my account back. Right. And I received a message, you know. We'll get back to you in 180 days. Signs of a hack are notices about emails, passwords, or birthday changes, friend requests and messages from strangers you didn't write, and posts you didn't make. They're pocketing the cash. They're getting away with it. They're taking it right out of their account, putting it in theirs, and that's it. It's gone. Pete reached out to us. We contacted Facebook's parent, Meta, asking to stop the scam in its tracks. I reset everything because of you and Seven on your side. It all worked out great. You're the best. Well, Pete was told by Facebook it could be six months until his account was fixed. We reached out to Meta yesterday. They were able to provide a link to reset and retake over his account. You guys, I can tell you, this has never happened this fast. Wow. Sometimes it doesn't happen at all. Because even though Facebook says, you know, um, they're trying to stop these bad actors, they have three billion users across yeah. the planet. It's planet, the globe, you know, it's a huge company. It's kind of like whack-a-mole, yeah. you know, as the hackers get more sophisticated, they're just trying to, to control it. You know, I got two takeaways from this. Uh, one of them, Pete's got a lot of good friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah very generous that's, friends. That's the first part of it. But second of all, what if it happens to me and I don't have seven on your side? What do I do? You've got to, one, report it right away and then let your people know. The problem when you get hacked is you can't access your account to warn others. And then they block your friends and your family. Yeah. yeah. Uh, from the same account, you can't make comments to say this isn't me. Right. So you've got to tell some of your friends and followers, hey, can you just warn people, don't buy anything from me, I'm not selling concert tickets, right. Right. Um, and post so that they won't fall for that.